Futures and Forex trading contains substantial risk and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. This content is not trading advice and should be used for educational purposes only. Please take a moment to review the full disclaimer. Hello, I'm Kevin and today we're diving into the configuration options for the session volume profile indicator from Chartspots. You can download this indicator from chartspots.com slash volume profile. The link is also in the description below. The session volume profile is a powerful trading tool that analyzes all session volume data, displaying it by price instead of time. This gives you a clear view of key support and resistance levels and helps you pinpoint where price tends to fluctuate, providing actionable insights to refine your trading strategy. The session volume profile also allows you to plot the volume point of control or VPOC and the value area for each session. The installation is simple. Open Ninja Traders control center Click Tools, Import, then Ninja Script add on. This kicks off your fully functional two week trial automatically. Now let's walk through configuring the indicator. I'll start by pulling up a chart of ES Futures using one minute candlesticks. To add the session volume profile indicator, click the indicators button or right click the chart and select indicators. In the window that opens, navigate to the chart spots folder and double click on the session volume profile. The first section we'll configure is display. Profile display side lets you choose which side of the session data to display the profile. Here's an example on the right side. And here's an, what it looks like on the left. The scale factor allows you to control how much horizontal space the profile takes up. Increase the number to reduce the profile's width or decrease it to make the profile wider. Next is the enable disable level section. I'll start by disabling all options. Enable volume point of control highlights the price level with the highest volume for each session. Enable value area shows the first deviation, which is set by default to 68% of the volume around the VPOC. In plot configuration, you can fine tune the colors and transparency of the profile, the VPOC and the value area shading. By default, the value area is shown in a darker shade of Dodger Blue. Now, moving to the parameter section, value area calculation. This option lets you adjust the percentage of volume around the VPOC to be considered the value area. In trading hours configuration, you choose the trading hours template that defines the sessions for plotting the profile. NinjaTrader provides several built-in templates, but you can create custom ones if needed. For example, you might create an overnight trading hours templates to plot these specific profiles. By default, the indicator uses the CME US Index Futures RTA template, which covers the regular trading hours for US Index Futures. The remaining options are standard for most indicators, but let's focus on one key setting in the setup group, calculate. This is set to on each tick by default, meaning the session profile updates with each new tick, adding volume to the appropriate price level. For historical profiles, the indicator uses historical data without reprocessing tick data ensuring optimal performance while still delivering detailed granularity for the ongoing session. Alternatively, you can select on bar close, which updates once per minute on a one minute candlestick chart. It distributes the volume across the price levels within that time frame. 
my recommendation is to stick with on each tick for detailed real-time session profiles without sacrificing performance on historical data. And that's it. You've now seen how to install, configure and fine-tune the session volume profile indicator by Chartspot. With these settings, you'll be ready to make the most of this powerful tool in your trading strategy. If you haven't already, head over to chartspot.com slash volume profile to download your free trial and start exploring today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more tips and tutorials on getting the best out of your trading tools. If you have any questions or need further assistance, drop a comment below or reach out to our website. Thanks for watching and enjoy your trading week.